Good day and welcome to the news. Labour Party Vice Presidential Candidate Doyi Okupe begs Peter Obi's supporters to stop creating fake news on social media. Now, the news in details. The Vice Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party Doyi Okupe has pleaded with supporters of his principal Peter Obi to stop creating and propagating falsehood on social media. Okupe issued the warning while debunking viral reports that the 14th Emir of Kanu, Muhammadu Sunsanusi II, and the Sultan of Sokoto had endorsed Obi as the next presidential candidate, as the next president of Nigeria. The viral post quoted Sanusi as lambasting the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and People's Democratic Party, PDP, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Alaji Atiku Abubakar, respectively, while endorsing the Labour Party's candidate. Another screenshot being circulated on social media claims that the Sultan of Sokoto promised to mobilize 5 million votes for Obi. I will mobilize 5 million votes in the north for Peter Obi. I have never believed in an evil man the way I believe in Peter Obi, Sultan. The post had read. Writing on his Twitter page on Tuesday, Okupe also debunked reports that a $20 million investment by Obi, while he was an Anambra State Governor, is now worth $100 million. Our attention has been drawn to a statement credited to His Excellency Governor Soludo concerning quadrupling of investments made by Peter Obi as Governor of Anambra State. This statement is not from him or the campaign organization. Peter Obi only talks about verifiable claims and what he will do in office. Okupe said, we also dissociate ourselves from the purported endorsement of his candidacy by His Royal Highness Lamido Sanusi and His Eminems, the Sultan of Sokoto. We plead with all our supporters to please desist from creating falsehood in the social media. Let's focus on claims that are verifiable and true. So, with rumors going about uh, about Peter Obi's running mate and pres vice president candidacy, um, it has been brought to our attention that the possible vice president and running mate of Peter Obi would could possibly be Doi Okupe, and we are yet to get a confirmation or an official statement from the Peter Obi's campaign team. But um, Doi Okupe has come out to give his support and also say and warn people to stop sharing things that aren't true on social media about Peter Obi. And one of such things is the endorsement of Peter Obi by the Sultan of Sokoto and the Emir of Kanu. And he also talked about the possibly... Um, quadrupling of an investment made by Peter Obi while he was still governor of Anambra State. And he said this in a statement. And um in this viral screenshot that went um that circulated on the internet, it was said that the Sultan of Sokoto had promised to mobilize five million votes in the north for Peter Obi, that he had never believed in an Igbo man the way he believes in Peter Obi. But Doni Okupe has come out to say that this is false. And he also talked about um, the um, issue of an investment worth $20 million by Peter Obi, now worth $100 million. And he said, this isn't true as... Peter Obi's campaign and his organization only talk about verifiable claims and what they will do when in office. And they don't talk about investments he has made as well as other personal issues. 
He also said they will be dissociating themselves from purported endorsements by candidate of Peter Obi by His Royal Highness Lamido Sanusi and His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto. He went ahead to plead with all Peter Obi supporters to please desist from creating falsehood in the social media and let's focus on claims that are verifiable and true. So this is a good one by Doni Okupe, regardless of if he's actually um, Peter Obi's running mate or not. Coming out to actually clear the air and make it known that this is what is actually going on in the party is the best thing possible. As people, this is a very crucial time in the um, election, in the race to the um, 2023 election, general elections. And different things are coming out. And we see people saying, oh, he made a $20 million um, dollar investment while he was governor of Anambra State. And now that investment is worth $100 million. Like, where did you get that claim from? So he's here saying that there's nothing that can't, that they only deal with verifiable facts. And people should stop posting things that aren't true. And they even um, went ahead to get a screenshot from I don't know where saying that the Sultan of Sokoto had promised to mobilize 5 million votes for Peter Obi in the north. And Don Yokupe has done well by coming out to take to his Twitter page to actually debunk all these reports as that's the best thing that can be done at this moment due to the fact that a lot of things would come out and reporters as well as social media will just run with it. And him coming out here to release this statement is actually the best thing that can happen to Bita for Bita Obi and his camp at this moment. Because the more news that come out, the more you, get, you tend to um, either lose supporters or gain supporters. And at this moment, where it's still a very fragile time and they are just coming into part of the top three as they didn't see themselves there before as the Labour Party then they're trying to be very careful with all their dealings. And yes, they also went ahead to caution their supporters, saying that they should they should stop and desist from creating falsehoods in the social media. And I know that, yes, these people are supporting Peter Obi and are trying to make him look so good and um and look like the best candidate to Nigerians. But sometimes you are trying to do good, but you don't know you are doing more harm than good. So yes... Good one by doing Okupe by coming out to actually um, release an official statement debunking all these reports. So I would love to hear what you, my able listeners, think about this. Please do so in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That's it from today, guys. Thank you and good day.